Microsoft Excel is a powerful software. Many educational institutions and business companies use Excel files to store valuable data. Sometimes it becomes essential to create and rename the sheets to differentiate them from each other. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriyar Abra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create multiple sheets with different names in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. I'll use a sample dataset as an example. For instance, the following dataset has three different titles for three sheets. The first method is a straightforward and easy process. Basically, it's the manual one. First of all, click the plus icon that you will find in the sheet tab present at the bottom part in Excel. That will create a new sheet. Now, double click the sheet title and rename it with your desired one. In this way, you will get a new sheet with a new title. Similarly, I will add another two sheets for February and March. This technique is quite easy, but the problem with this method is it will be time consuming if you want to create multiple sheets within a workbook. The pivot table feature can also help us to get multiple sheets with unique names. Here we don't need to create each sheet manually, so it's very time efficient. Firstly, select the range C5 to C7. Next, go to the insert tab click on pivot table on the tables group of commands. Consequently, you will see a dialog box. Here, choose the existing worksheet to place your pivot table and as the location, give the cell reference of cell B10 and click OK. After that, drag the title field and place it in the filters section. Then, go to the pivot table analyze contextual tab, select pivot table drop down, click options, then tap on show report filter pages. As a result, a new dialog box will appear. Here, press OK. Thus, it will return three new sheets with the chosen titles. But the most effective method is to use the VBA code. You can automate the entire process with it and modify the procedure as per your need. For using VBA, you have to enable the developer tab in the ribbon. Right click on any tab on the ribbon and select customize the ribbon option. In the Excel options window, check the box of developer tab and click OK. Hence, the developer tab is now visible. Go to the developer tab. In the code group of commands, select Visual Basic. It will open the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. From the insert tab, select module. Now, I'll paste my VVA code into the module. You will find the code from the article link in the description box. I created a subroutine named create sheets. I declared three variables P, R, N, G, and R. These variables are used to store references to worksheets and ranges within the workbook. These lines set the P variable to reference the active worksheet and the R, N, G variable to reference the selected cells. It starts a loop that will iterate through each cell in the R, N, G range. This line retrieves the text content of the current cell R, trims any leading or trailing spaces using the trim function, and assigns it to the sname variable. sname will be used as the name for the new worksheets. This line checks if the length of the sname variable is greater than zero, which means there is some text in the cell. It adds a new worksheet to the workbook after parameter specified that the new worksheet should be added after the last worksheet in the workbook. This line turns screen updating back on, allowing the Excel interface to update. This VBA macro creates new worksheets in an Excel workbook based on the names found in the selected cells. Now close the VB editor window. Next, select the title range C5 to C7. Afterward, in the developer tab, click on macros in the code group of commands. Also, you can press Alt plus F8 key to do the same. Hence, the macro dialog box will emerge. Lastly, choose create sheets and click on run. 
Thus, you will see three newly formed sheets with the desired sheet names. In this tutorial, I have shown three methods to create multiple sheets with different names in Excel. Follow them carefully to do it yourself. Use the one which comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.